What's up, this is your boy LJ, and as you can see, I got the Apple Vision Pro. Now, admittedly, I got the hood on because I just personally feel like this is kind of the only way to make it look cool. You know what I'm saying? Outside of that, you're kind of looking a little wonky. But the question on the top of everybody's minds, at least my community, is how are you going to make beats on this thing? And the answer is you can't. As of right now, February 3rd, there are no apps that you can like make music on this thing. So if that's your purpose of buying this, get that out of your head right now. But there is one feature that is pretty sick that I can see myself utilizing for business and creating and stuff like that. And no, it's not the DJ app. If you didn't know, they do have a DJ app with a turntable. Maybe we'll check that out later in the video. But what it actually is, is just using your laptop and blowing it up to have a huge high definition screen, okay? Now it is crisp, okay? So what we're gonna do in this video is make a beat on it and I'll give you guys my impressions. This is my first time using it, so uh, let's get into it. So boom, this is what it looks like. I'm looking at you, here's my menu. Now check this out. When I look at this, there's an option to connect. Screen goes black. And now would you look at that? Okay, so here's Ableton. Let's make it full screen. I mean, that is just ridiculous. Can you guys even see this? I don't even think I need it that big. Let's, let's make it a reasonable size. And let's bring it right in front of me right here. That's a more reasonable size right there. And then you can hold this down to make it straight. Okay. That is much more reasonable. Now, I don't know how the audio recording is gonna be, so forgive me. And I can see, which is cool too. But yeah, let's actually move this back some. And yeah, let's just make something. Um, let's use some loops just to like, make this like not the longest video ever. Throw that on, let's see what we can do, let's see what we can do. Now the lights keep changing in it, but I don't think, oh, low battery, shoot. So you can plug the battery in to extend the battery life. Apparently the battery life is like two hours. I've been using this for quite a while now. I doubt that it was fully charged when I got it too, so. All right, so now the Vision Pro is charging. Let's chop this sample up. I wonder, cause like I can just pull this closer if I really need to see like, whoa, that is sick. One complaint I had and other people had was that you can only use one display, but this display can get so big that if I wanted to have multiple things running at once, I quite easily could. If I pulled up, let's say Spotify, for example, I could have that here. I could make the screen even bigger and put it further away. 
and have even more things running at once. Um, I'm gonna pull up mix and key, even though it's small, let's pull up the big version. And I could literally have all this stuff going on. So I wouldn't say it's the worst thing. Like I could have RC20 and like whatever else going on. Like I could come super close. That is what's, the fact that I can like really be all up in it, like, oh, and get up in there, like that's sick. Like if you can't see well, bro. Throw the city park on there. Pull up the mixer. <laughs> I'm like an engineer right now. One more thing I wanna try though, headphones. Let's see if I can like actually put on my studio headphones over this comfortably because I personally don't mix with monitors. Let's see, bro. Nope. Nope. You can actually hear pretty well, never mind. So I guess let's check out this DJ app real quick and then uh, call it a day, bro. Okay, so tap to load a song. I'm not a DJ, bro. Eldre. Let's see. Now how do you go into it? Oh, lame. I gotta pay. Whoa. Oh, there it is, there it is. Okay. So I guess I can listen to vinyl in this. <laughs> Conclusion, what is the verdict on the Apple Vision Pro? Let me just start off by saying that it's one of the coolest things ever, okay? I had the original Quest, uh, little Quest, like the little $400 one or whatever, and I couldn't really wear that thing for more than like 10, 15, 20 minutes before like I'm just like, I can't do this anymore. It makes you feel super disoriented and stuff like this. With this, I've literally been using it for hours now and like, sure, like I feel a little pressure on my face right now because I just took it off, but like, it's pretty comfortable, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I haven't even noticed the weight too much. It's sick, dude, like this is a really cool thing. Obviously, it's nearly $4,000. I bought like the 512 gigabytes of storage. So, and I got Apple Care too, cause I mean, I don't, you know, I don't know what's gonna happen if this breaks. Um, But as an Apple fanboy, like this is a must have for me, I'm sorry. But now, as for this being like a business use, I honestly, like in the studio, I don't know. But like on the couch, in the bed, I see this just being used anywhere but the studio. I might use it here and there in here. Where I see the real utility of this is laying on the couch, doing all the stuff I do on my laptop, but just way bigger. That's like the key thing. Now let's keep in mind that the Quest Pro has been around for a long time. So I've seen some really cool music things on there. Like they have this app where you can just sit in front of a real piano and it'll show you like notes and stuff like that so you can learn keys. Please developers, somebody get that on the Apple Vision Pro cause that will be super, super useful, especially for me. Um, there was some kind of synth app that's built into this already. If you guys wanna see me check that out, I can, but it didn't seem too interesting for my liking. And I'll probably never use that DJ app again. I'm not a DJ, maybe if I wanted to practice DJing, but like at that point, it's just like, what are we doing, bro? <laughs> just go get a real controller and get it going. But yeah, should you buy it? Probably not, unless like it's, you have enough money to where it's not even that big of a deal. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I am financing it with the, um, with the Apple card. It's, only gonna cost me $308 a month, but I mean, that's a lot still. Like, that's a lot of people's like car insurance, car note, whatever it may be. So yeah, justify it however you wanna justify it. I will keep making videos with it in hopes that it doesn't become a $4,000 dust collector. And that's what we're gonna find out. So if you, we'll, we'll see. We'll see, obviously right now, it's my first day with it, it's the best thing ever. But what about a month from now? What about two months from now? I don't know, bro. Let's see, I'll be the guinea pig. I'm gonna try to use it as much as I can for content, you know what I'm saying? To get that 
you know, get that money's worth, get that tax write off, you know, get, get some, get some revenue coming because of this. But yeah, that's all I got for you. So I made a beat. It works and there's a lot of cool features involved. Let me know if there's any questions, any things you want to know, anything you want to see me try out and I will do it. All right. Drop a comment, whatever. I don't care if the app is $30. I'll try it and show you guys if you're interested because I know I know a lot of people aren't gonna have access to this. This is very niche, bro, very niche. So without further ado, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.